Hello guys, uh, lately I'm trying to upload video every week and it is harder than I thought. At first I didn't know what project to make and then I got an idea. I decided to make a, a little Arduino device that can be powered by a small battery and that is small enough to be carried in a pocket. So I created this. This is simple one button Arduino pocket toy. In this case I'm using it as stopwatch and it works better I expected. expected. You can use this as real stopwatch. Another idea was to make simple counter. With this I can count my students when they enter classrooms. Just kidding, I don't need to use that because I always notice when some of them missing. Then I get idea to try to play games on this one button device and it worked great. Flappy Bird is perfect example for it because it can be played with only one button. You can find codes for all three examples in the description of this video. Later in this video I will show you which libraries or parts you need to use. I used Arduino Uno to do the programming part, part and to make the little prototype. If you watch my videos often, you know that I love OLED displays. Usually I am using most, most common 128 by 64 OLED display but in this case I decided to use this 64 by 48 OLED which is much smaller. In my part parts box I found this small aluminium enclosure. I decided to use this enclosure box because it is very well made and looks great. Also very cheap. Plan was to use Arduino Nano, but Arduino Nano is too big for this box. So I will need to use Arduino Pro Mini, which is much smaller and it will fit this aluminium box perfectly. But on if you want to use Arduino Nano on eBay you can find the same enclosure boxes like mine, just a little longer. So Arduino Nano will fit in it also. We will need this push button, switch and a battery. Check the description for part lists. I will also use power tools like drill and Dremel tool, Dremel tool to cut enclosure box and of course soldering iron and hot glue gun. I will not explain the whole process of making this device but this device is so simple, just watch the video, the video to see how I did it. You can also find schematic in the description of the video.
explain you how to program Arduino Nano or Pro Mini. I believe that you already know how to do that. If you don't know, then you can find tutorial and learn how to program Arduino. You can find codes in the description of the video. You will also need this modified library because regular, regular Adafruit library don't support this size all of the display. Check description for a library link. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see new features for this device, feel free to subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.